face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what is up guys and welcome back to yet another video with of course smoke an update about of course the never used beta. Uh, as a few guys may actually be aware, Jan Mega and Slurp have got banned from and never used and for all the right reasons. But it has been a bit of a trend of whether or not that wasn't really enough. And uh, I definitely believe Smogon has been listening to the community and has listened to their own users and did an overarching ban on a few things that definitely, of course, would have never used console to go over the things that may or may not actually be a bit too broken and quite honestly make the meta a bit too tough at the moment. So these are the Pokemon that are relevant. Uh, trust me on this though, they're going to be a lot more going down the road and the beta is definitely just solving out the rest that are remaining because it will still be very unbalanced but with these Pokemon out of the way at least it will be a more fair fight. So I'm gonna go over of course the Pokemon one by one. While this is unscripted, I will talk about the individual Pokemon and how I feel about the decision. It should be said though as I never used overall. Pokemons here are supposed to not be as viable or be not as effective and a lot of Pokemons here are very viable both in never used as they are in uh, rarely used. So I do believe shifts that's gone through this are mainly because Pokemon that might be actually be too powerful in general and definitely over centralized in the meta. Slurpuff and Yamega definitely did that, they needed that quick ban. Uh, but these Pokemon also have their reasons to actually be, well, conflicting when the overarching theme of the meta because they're so superb overall. First Pokemon is Porygon 2, which I was really surprised not to see Quick Ban before this even started. Porygon 2 here is a very, very tough Pokemon to deal with. It's not easily KO'd and, you know, we don't have necessarily the strongest fighting types in the tier. And even with that in mind, you could possibly only knock it off and then go for the dynamic punch with Machamp and I do believe that's the right and easiest way to tackle it but as a whole Porygon 2's natural bulk even with, without the Violet is a very very threatening Pokemon overall and of course a superb Trick Roomer and consider of course which Pokemon remains in never use and a lot of good Trick Room abusers such as of course Crabominal um, um, kind of top of my head but there are a few relevant ones. Prangoru is also really strong in the Trick Room so there are a few Pokemon that can definitely take notice. Porygon 2 is very, very hard to KO and a very, very easy time to set up Trick Room. And we just offensively and defensively really, really annoying. So Sinico is not really that surprising. Next one is followed up by Noivern, which I should say this, for the Pokemon that are following me on the videos I make and over top 10 Pokemon that I do believe are massive threats in leagues, Noivern was one of those opposing Pokemon. Noivern is fairly strong, it's very very speedy, I do believe 123 speed here, it might even be higher, and a decent special attack over actually 100. Uh, it is tough to be dealing with and would fly MC even tougher, since of course Hurricane just hurts so many things. Draco is one of the strongest moves in the game, it does hurt really well, it specs to use with Switcheroo, super annoying to be dealing with, and as a whole it learns fully and thrower and relevant um, filler moves such as Air Slash, Solar Beam. It can overall be very useful and very hard to stop. The speed tour itself kind of over centralized meta really, really, really fast because you don't necessarily are able to outspeed it. Even as a Scarper, you could possibly not be able to outspeed it. And yeah, it just pokes hole at the team very, very naturally. So it's not surprising seeing it go. While I don't feel that it is super, super powerful, I do believe as an overarching theme, Neuburn. It has a natural typing that does make it really, really useful. The depth of other Pokemon, such as, of course, Alteria, there's very, very clear that Neuburn has the overarching higher damage output that can be frustrating overall to be dealing with. So, I believe it's fair to see it go, even though I do believe there are other Pokemon that should go before it. But as that said, is it's flying a bit on the radar. I do believe the Pokemon that used, uh, or the players that used this Pokemon well know exactly why it is so good. I haven't faced it enough to make a fair judgment on it, therefore, I do, I do deem it fair since I don't necessarily know enough. Um, Moltres. Actually, very, very, very weird that Moltres even was in you in the first place. Now, Charizard is, you know, the relevant Pokemon it could be compared with. And the difference here is that Moltres is naturally bulkier. It has access to Roost. Uh, could capitalize on that much, much better with, of course, the um, Roost set now, of course, with the, its new 
and ability flame body and taking capitalizer and defensive capabilities and of course the grass you see variant with solar beam super powerful it's impossible to stop it it checks every natural Pokemon could come in on it then just overall due to high spiral attack does fairly well Moltres should definitely go for that very very reason alone while I said that I compared to Charizard what the difference between them is the damage I've put in their stabs Hurricane is just that much better overall and definitely an interesting filler moving hole and Moltres just does what Charizard don't and that is being a very very big threat in general so Zinico not necessarily surprising uh, Drought gets banned. I don't believe I need to say more about Drought. Uh, if I had to say something, I'd say that if you face an Executor, Specs, Executor, or a Lifer variant with a Drought support with Saucebuck, you know why. It's um, you, you can't tackle that. It's it's too powerful. A lot of Pokemon capitalize on Drought really, really nicely. Um, I do believe even Charizard is one of those Pokemon that do their solar power. Um, it's damaged up, but it's ridiculous, and uh, you aren't naturally able to outmatch that, and that's, that shouldn't come as a surprise at all. Uh, Draught really had to go. That said, I do believe it's a bit unfortunate, because that means that Ninetales may or may not be as interesting or viable again. Then again, I, I, I hope it does work to get with Torkoal in RU. Uh, Rebombi getting banned. Um, I haven't faced Rebombi, well, as far as I heard, it is basically... The, the spec set that people are talking about, the specs Moonblast are doing so much in the tier. Uh, Psychium C is one of those sets that also really works. Weezing, which is a natural response to Rebombi, not necessarily being able to survive it. Um, but as a whole, it's a very, very strong Quiver Dancer. And uh, yeah. I really think if I had to make some kind of adjustment for it, it is that it has a really high speed here. And as a whole, it's very hard to adjust to one Quiver Dance. Make sure that anything is plus two, even can't have speeds it. And uh, yeah, it's not that fragile even as a whole. So it's not a complete surprise. But I stated, I haven't used it myself, nor have I faced it that often. Though, I have been walled out by one that Quiver Dance against me. So yeah, I could see the reason for it also. It, it's kind of hard to stop. So as a whole, it, it makes sense. Uh, Kindra going actually away from the new. It was banned from RU last generation for the very reason how viable Rain Sweeper it is. I do believe it took some time before people realized how insanely powerful King is. The Rain Team as a whole is very, very useful and never used uh, since often you have to set manual Rain. I do believe Kingra has a bit of work against it since as Roth was viable for quite some time. Seeing it go. Yeah, it's important in so many ways because now it means that manual rain become a lot more powerful since Rod is away. So seeing Kingdra gone with that, thank you. It is basically solving an issue before it becomes one. While I do believe Kingdra has a very strong viability as a whole, even without rain, it is the rain sweeping capability that does make it dangerous. So seeing it go, yeah, I definitely believe we needed that. Um, it was definitely over centralized in meta as a whole. It is a very good defensive typing too, so there are only layers upon layers of King that just make it not a never used Pokemon whatsoever. It is a superb Pokemon in every tier and definitely remain, in my honest opinion, are you should even be possibly you you. But those are the primal bands from the beta session now, and of course we're gonna go from beta to of course a statue tier. Um there are things here that's gonna definitely matter. I do believe Pangoro is gonna get a massive lift, and Machamp is gonna get a massive lift now. And uh, the one I really, really think is going to stand up a little bit more, and I really can't believe I'm saying this, but Drapion is gonna get, since its speed tier is definitely becoming more relevant now. And there are very few Pokemon now that can't uh, get walled out, since Porygon 2 is now gone. There are Pokemon here that offensively can become really, really scary. And I'm just naming the few. I'm basically name dropping. Uh, but I mean, Verision is one of those Pokemon that will be even more dangerous now. Neuber might actually be the only fair response to it. So, yeah, if I had to guess, I'd say Verision, Grapeon, Machamp, uh, Pangoro, they gotta go. They can't stay. They're gonna annihilate it here. Naturally, they're just that strong. Uh, and other than that, I believe Medisham Glade can see some niches going on and couldn't possibly be banned as we go on. But yeah, those are just basically my thoughts as a whole. Um, what do you guys think? I guess we should kind of wrap it up like this. 
Um, do you guys see any bands here that you think makes sense, or do you guys come with the misdraws? I do believe a lot of people are going to misdraws. A lot of Sun teams are now pretty much unusable at this time due to this. But yeah, as so all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as I said, make sure to write down in the comments below what you think about the upcoming bands and what you could see becoming banned as, of course, this session in beta goes on in the reviews. So with that said, guys, because as always, so much watching, and I'll see you next video. Till then, take care.